Using beta radiation by kscience.com. These here are paper rollers and paper is fed through them so the paper is going to be rolled to the correct thickness. This here is a beta radiation emitter and this here is a beta radiation detector. So the beta particles are going to be emitted from the beta source. This is then going to go through the paper and these beta particles will then pass through the paper and then they're going to be detected by the beta detector below it. So what the factory wants to see is a count rate of 100. That means that the paper is being rolled to correct thickness. Let's now imagine that the beta particle detector detects a new count rate of 120. That means that the count rate has gone up. So that means that there's been an increase in the count rate which is an indicator that the paper is too thin. The reason why the count rate has gone up is because the paper is now thinner. This means that more beta particles will be penetrating the paper through to the detector. And that information gets fed back to the rollers, which is then going to adjust the rollers so that the paper is rolled thicker. So now as you can see here, the paper is being rolled thicker. The paper is being rolled thicker. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The paper is being rolled thicker. So the thicker the paper, the fewer beta particles will penetrate the paper factory wants to see is a count rate of 100. That means that the paper is being rolled to correct thickness. Because the paper is being rolled thicker, fewer beta particles are able to penetrate the paper. That means that the count rate will now drop back to 100. And this will then be fed back to the machine to hold the rollers at that thickness. So the paper is now thicker and the count rate will therefore decrease. So what happens if the paper is now too thick? The paper is too thick, fewer beta particles are going to be able to penetrate the paper. That means that the count rate is going to decrease. If the paper is thicker, the count rate decreases. So that information is then fed back to the rollers, which are then going to cause the paper to be rolled thinner. Which are then going to cause the paper to be rolled thinner. So now the paper is rolled thinner more beta particles are able to penetrate the paper. That means the count rate is going to increase back up to 100 and the rollers are going to stay at that setting. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So why is gamma radiation not used to measure the thickness of paper? This is because gamma radiation is extremely penetrating. No matter what the thickness of paper, the gamma radiation will penetrate any thickness. So you won't be able to determine whether or not the paper is too thick or too thin because the gamma radiation will penetrate any thickness of paper. And the reason why alpha particles are not used and the reason why alpha particles are not used, this is because alpha particles will not penetrate the paper at all. So why is gamma radiation not used to measure the thickness of paper? This is because gamma radiation is extremely penetrating. No matter what the thickness of paper, the gamma radiation will penetrate any thickness. So if alpha particles were used, as you can see here, the alpha particles would not even reach the detector. Alpha particles and gamma radiation is not used to determine the thickness of paper beta particles are. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.